Hello, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this diorama card with the Seascape Bundle. So here's the Seascape Bundle. It has this cute stamp set that you can use to make this wonderful ocean scene. And these cool dies, like for the fish and the seahorse and the coral and the little fishies. It's really, really fun set to use to create all of these fun cards. I also use the layering diorama dies. These are super fun to use for all types of cards, but I think especially for the ocean cards, they work really, really well to create this fun little ocean scene. So I've used these diorama dies and I started off with a piece of 11 by four and a quarter. Bermuda Bay cardstock, scored at five and a half. And then I've used uh, this, nope, which die, this one. So this is the third, one, two, three, smallest, right there. So third smallest, and then the next two. So this one and this one. And I've um, cut these out of Coastal Cabana and then you can either turn it this way or this way. I think I'm gonna do this one this way. And then you can do this one this way. And so you can create this fun scene with these diorama dies. And uh, I use dimensionals between each layer so I get a more 3D look. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp the inside of the card where I've embossed uh, this stamp right here and uh, I've got some fishies there. So I'm just going to do a little embossing to start off with. So I've got my Versamark, I've got my white embossing powder, and I have a little, nope, I can't find my little embossing buddy. My embossing buddy is pretty thin, but I usually use my embossing buddy, which is good to use when you are embossing. So I'm just gonna ink this really, really well with the Versamark. I want a really, really nice image. And uh, I always keep my reinker close so I can re-ink it uh, frequently. So I'm just gonna stamp here, really nice and firmly, straight down, straight up. And then we're gonna bring it over here and place all this powder on here. Looks good. Move the powder away for when we heat it up. So now I'm just going to plug in my heat tool here and uh, we will heat this up. Okay, I love watching heat embossing. It's so cool, it's always magical every time. Okay, I'm gonna unplug that and plug back in my power source here, if I can. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna stamp the little fishies over here in Bermuda Bay so I can have a little scene going on inside of here. And I'm just gonna stamp them going the opposite way. These. Fishies are nice because you can stamp them going either way. So I'm just going to stamp them going this way. And then I'm going to close this up for now because I'm going to color this fish. So when you cut out this fish, um, it still is connected to the paper in certain spots. So right here on either side here and then on the other side of the head here and here. So if you want a free fish, you gotta cut it free. Otherwise, it's attached to the paper. And I'll show you in another card um, how that can work and how that can be beautiful as well. But for now, I'm just going to um, use some blends to color this fish because I want a multicolored fish here. I want it to look ombre and pretty. So I'm going to start with Mango Melody and I have my blending brush here, Mango Melody. I label all of my brushes. So I'm just going to get some ink on here. I'm just going to start off in the corner. Ooh, 
lots of ink. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get the body of this fishy. So go ahead and ink the body of this fishy really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Calypso Coral for the edges. Yep, and you're gonna get your fingers all inky. So Calypso Coral, and just kind of see what level you have color here. And I'm just gonna do the edges here. They're gonna be a little bit trickier. You might not be able to do circles. You might just have to kind of daub the edges a little bit. I wanna get the color all on these wings here and kind of into the body a little bit. Wings, I mean, what do I mean? Not wings. <laughs> I mean tail and fins, right? That's what I mean. I'm not doing a bird here. Okay, so I think that looks nice. I think that looks really nice. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off my fingers a little bit here. There we go. And uh, we've got our fish. Lovely. So now I'm gonna kind of see how our fish is gonna peek through here. So and close it up, kind of see. So I put the fish kind of like this, okay? So I'm gonna put some glue dots on here just because there's so many different um, cut pieces going on here that I think glue dots would work best because I can just put one up here in the front, like right there, and then I can put one If this cooperates with me back here and I think that should be sufficient and then I'm gonna close this up again and place this right about there there we go nice there's a little bit of something something on here so just gonna erase a little bit okay and I just took the color off so I'm gonna go Mango Melody. I'm just gonna go in, little Mango Melody there. He has a little blemish on his cheek. Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp the other layers because I got little fishies on the other layers. So just the top layer actually. So I'm just gonna stamp the top layer with the fishies in Coastal Cabana. So I need to clean the fishies off. Clean them off, and they're gonna all go this way. So we've got some fishies up here. You might need a re-inking here. And some fishies up here. And then I think I'm gonna get my scrap paper. And then we've got fishies down here, and down here, and then some over here. Okay, nice. So now we can start building this card together. We're gonna add our piece of coral here on the side and uh, our fish are both going this way. So one fish, two fish on the dies. Um, you have one fish when you cut it out that goes one way and the other fish goes the other way because it's opposite here. So it cuts out um, this fish and this fish, but I did uh, two going the same way. So now we're just gonna do dimensionals on both of these layers so that we get that nice 3D look. And so I'm gonna do a lot of dimensionals just cause we have this opening here. And so it needs more support than um, just a regular sheet without a hole in the middle would need. And see, doesn't that look so cool? So we're just gonna add, oh, I did need this fish because it's it's hiding in there, that's right. And then I'm just gonna add this with a couple of glue dots. 
um, since it's spanning the opening here. So we'll do one on the bottom and then I'm gonna do one over here. So I'll just put this at the very bottom here. And this can attach right there. And then we'll have dimensionals on these two and then a glue dot on this one. Whoops, there's a glue dot right there. I'm gonna do it backwards, do it on the front of the fishy so I can attach the fishy to the coral there, stuck in the coral, so cute. And then we can do dimensionals. Ah. Trying to just take the back off, not the whole thing. There you go. And we'll put the fishies. I'm gonna put one down here this time. And I'm gonna put one up here. And there is our fun diorama card, our fishy diorama card. Oh, love it. So I'm offering a free card kit when you purchase this bundle. There's three designs in the card kit. This uh, aquarium card that opens like this. And then this underwater seahorse card. So if you purchase the bundle using my current hostess code and email me and let me know that you would like the Seascape card class, I will send it right out to you. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my other video tutorials with the Seascape Bundle. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I post a new video. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye!